day 24, the partial government <laughs> shutdown over funding for a border wall. The president hunkering down in D.C. over the weekend, willing to work on a compromise, Juan. But about 30 Democrats left him hanging, choosing instead to take off for a winter retreat in Puerto Rico. The president blasting Democrats earlier today. I've been here all weekend. Uh, a lot of the Democrats were in Puerto Rico celebrating something. I don't know, maybe they're celebrating the shutdown. Uh, we have a very big crisis, a humanitarian crisis on the border. We have a priority. It's the safety of our nation. The southern border has been horrible for decades, and it's now, because of the success of our country, it's now at a level that we cannot put up with. The Democrats have to do something. We need their votes, otherwise we can't solve it. Let's see if they can lead. I don't know that they can lead, but we're going to soon find out. Meanwhile, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham suggesting the president open the government for a short period of time in order to negotiate a solution. Here's the president's response to that. Well, that was a suggestion that Lindsey made, but I did, I did reject it, yes. I, I'm not interested. I want to get it solved. I don't want to just delay it. I want to get it solved. All right, let's go back to the uh, Puerto Rico trip. Okay. Anna? All right, so I don't know if we have the picture, but, you know, Senator Menendez from New Jersey, mm -hmm. shirtless. Um, there he is, uh, out by the beach, talking the talk. Um, you know, he's got all lotioned up, you know, got the daiquiris flowing. Thank God we have that lower third up. <laughs> <laughs> he's down there with lobbyists from Big Tobacco, Silicon Valley, the unions, and he's fresh off an ethics scandal here. I think the reporters maybe should look into a story about that well, as opposed to this, this Russia collusion well, situation. It, There's meat on those bones. I'm not talking about Menendez. <laughs> well, I would assume, well, I, um, having just come off the ethical problem, I would assume that the trip that they tried to dot all their I's and cross their T's so that there wasn't an ethical problem, there is a public perception problem. Sure. Right? That, so you go down there. Though if I were the Democrats, I might turn around and say, really, well, we're in Puerto Rico, you know, the place where you said you were going to take funds from their hurricane relief to pay for your wall. Yeah, that's why we're here. Don't like, tell them that, that Dana. <laughs> giving them talking points. Can, can I points. mention something that the president yes. said today? Um, in the last week, the, if the Democrats were just willing to take all the little a la carte menus that he mentions in these um, interviews or appearances that he does, they actually, there's a making for a really good comprehensive immigration reform bill. Last week he said, hey, you know those H-1B visas, the best and the brightest, the mm -hmm. smartest? I'll tell you what, don't go, to, don't go anywhere else. Come here and we'll give you permanent citizenship. That wasn't on the table before. Today, when he was talking to the farmers, he said, I know you guys need workers. They all start cheering. He says, well, I'm glad I brought it up. I will make sure you have the workers. Last week, he said he would do DACA. I'm like, okay, so for $5 billion for border security, which Democrats have already said that they are for, why not take him up on all of these things that he's willing to do? Because they're working on their tans. That's that is why. Greg, are they going to pay the price for something like this? If the Republicans had done this during a shutdown and gone tanning in Puerto Rico or anywhere, they would have been hit hard. No matter what, vacations are bad for politicians because there's always something going on that's serious. And they have but, enough vacations. Yes, and, it, and, and it's just rarely good optics to see a politician without his clothes on. It's, uh, bureaucrat, bureaucrats should be fully clothed at all times. That's just for me. Hey, can I respond? I was listening to Howard Stern today, and he um, expressed an argument that I've heard before about why walls don't work, right? He said it's because of tunnels. And I've been thinking about this, and I go, you could argue that tunnels are proof that walls work because it forces the criminal to engage in riskier, more involved, time-consuming endeavors. For example, if you don't have a wall, then you don't have to dig a tunnel. For example, you could use the same argument like, why would I buy a lock for my bike if somebody has bolt cutters? Well, you reduce the risk of your bike getting stolen the same way the walls reduce the risk of crossover. So deterrence always, and this goes back to the whole idea of going to legal ports of entry, drugs, all deterrence do is they funnel efforts of the criminals into more difficult labor-intensive arenas. That is a success. So walls are no tunnels or with tunnels are still competent. Well, if Howard's listening, Bob yes. Bowie. That was my gentle response. Okay, very it's good. Very kind of you, Greg. Yes. What do you think about this, uh, well, the optics and, uh, and Greg's amazing analysis of the tunnel? <laughs> I agree with his analysis about politicians having their clothes on, especially mm -hmm. Bob Menendez, who's had some problems with the islands in the past. Yes, yeah. he has. So maybe he should be a little more careful. Um, Washington, D.C. is very quiet right now. Right. 
and Democrats who claim to be fighting for middle class government workers who skip their first paycheck. It's one thing to skip one paycheck. If you skip another one, that's the entire month, right? That creates even more problems than you had the first time you skipped a paycheck. Um, for them to be down on the beach lotioning up young women, as we saw in that photo, um, while they're partying with lobbyists who make millions and millions of dollars right. in Washington, D.C. as a result of these contracts, it looks pretty bad and hypocritical on top of all of these other issues they're not coming to the table on. When it comes to rejecting Lindsey Graham's uh, solution, he says open it up for a couple of weeks, the president already put that on the table with Nancy Pelosi in the Oval Office and said, if I open up the government in 30 mm -hmm. days, will you give me some funding for this barrier or wall? And she said no. Right. So Democrats have already said, it doesn't matter if you open up the government. And so it's up to them now. And we're talking about $5 billion. We're not even talking about the $26 billion. And as Dana said, they put so much on the table at the White House in terms of compromise, not even for the entire section of the wall that they're looking for. This is a tiny portion of what he's actually asking for. Well, I mean, I say uh, two quick responses. One is the president had a deal on the table that he rejected that would have given the Dreamers uh, and some other people with protected status part of a deal, right, in exchange for the wall way back. And guess what? Steve Miller and the president said, no, we want to cut legal immigration by half. The second thing to say is, you know, with regard to the Republican effort ongoing now to try to get some kind of negotiation on the Hill, what you've heard from people like Chris Coons, who was on Fox News Sunday yesterday, is we're willing to negotiate, but we need somebody who's reliable. And the president shifts in terms of what he wants and what he doesn't want on a regular basis so that even his top aides can't be confident as to what will make a deal. And finally, you know what? This is a, I think there's a Democratic retreat. I think there's a show of Hamilton, uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda's show is down there, and a lot of the politicians have gone down. Republicans have retreats. And sunny places. In the middle of a shutdown? I, I, I don't know what they're doing this January. I don't know where it is, but they're, believe me, they're scheduled to have a retreat, right too. on the beach. With so, yeah, no, their shirts are I, on. I don't, <laughs> look, so that's the issue. No, I think this, again, is an effort. You say, you know, we can caricature, we can mock. But you know what, guys? Let's be serious for a minute. People no, really are let's losing let's mock paychecks. and caricature. <laughs> let's not be serious. The All guy's right. shirtless in Puerto Rico.